What is up guys? My name is Danny O'Donnell and we are here at Ultimate Ninjas Libertyville for the first WNL of the season. This is going to be a flow course, uh, a few general rules for the course. We will not be providing any chalk, so any chalk you want on the course will have to be provided by yourself. Bring a chalk bag. Uh, this is a flow course qualifier for World Ninja League and that means that Whoever gets the farthest in the course, the fastest, without falling. If you do fall, you can continue, but your official time and score is determined by when you fall. So whoever gets the farthest, the fastest. Um, only athletes, staff, and certified coaches by the WNL are allowed on the course and the warm-up area. If you do not have a certified coach to carry your chalk bag, uh, one of our staff members will carry that for you. And I'll talk about a few rules for dismounts in this course. We do have a few starting platforms that are a few dismount platforms that are also starting platforms for the next obstacle. So please keep in mind when we go over those. And the WNL has a three point clear system for their dismount, for their obstacle clearing. Uh, first, you have to break the plane of the dismount platform you have to disengage the previous obstacle, and then you have to touch the platform. At least one part of you has to touch the platform before you touch something out of bounds. You cannot completely overshoot the landing platform. And if it is the start platform or the next obstacle, you cannot overshoot. Uh, there, is a, there are a few linked obstacles in this course. The linked obstacles will have a designated touch point and that is when you transition from one obstacle, you clear that and move into the next. I will point those out, but pay, pay attention to those. And at any point throughout this course, you can reset on the starting platform. So if you jump up onto the obstacle and you decide you want to hop back down, you didn't like how it feels, you can reset on the starting platform, but make sure you do not touch anything out of bounds when you do so. All right. Let's get into the course. So we, this is the elite division course. Starting off with obstacle number one, we have hop, skip, and a jump. This obstacle is feet only across these black stones and BOSU balls. These blue tumble track pads are just here supporting these from sliding. They are off limits. Let's go to Max Suskin with the demo. That is a clear. This dismount platform is the start platform for obstacle number two. Uh, as with all dismount platforms, hands and feet are allowed. So obstacle two, starting right here, is called just rings. You are just going to use the rings, hands only, to get to the dismount platform, which is the green box. Max with the demo. Weird. Moving on to obstacle number three, the escape. Starting platform is this blue mountain right here. Hands and feet are allowed on this rope. Hands are allowed on this bar right here, on this bar, and then the trapeze bar. And you are dismounting on this red pad. No truss is allowed, incidental contact is allowed. Max with the demo. Clear. Moving on to obstacle number four. This obstacle is called obstacle number four. Start platform right here. You can use this blue ring, this cone, this cannonball, and this is a linked obstacle. So when you touch this first silver peg, you clear obstacle number four, and you go straight into obstacle number five, which is called hangman. Now, obstacle number five, you can only use the silver pegs or these blue knobs on the end, and these green cliffhangers or green rock holds to get to the finished platform, which is this black pad right here. 
this truss and that truss right there are off limits, incidental only. Let's see a demo. Hammer time. So starting platform is the green pad. You're gonna use the trampoline. Hands and feet are allowed on only the green section of this barrel. And you are dismounting onto this green pad. Now it is loaded, so there is a magnet up there. Pay attention when we see the demo, it is going to swing. Go ahead, Max. And that is a clear. Up next we have helicopter crossing. This obstacle is hands only. You are allowed to use this ring, this black ring, and then your hands are allowed on this taped section of the sky hook. And your hands are allowed on this blue claw, your dismount platform is this green box. Okay, now you can use the two rings as much as you would like. Let's see a demo. Next we have walking on water. This is another linked obstacle, but walking on water, starting on that green pad. So that is a dismount platform and a starting platform. So you have to be precise on that. This is a feet only obstacle. Your feet are only allowed on these blue, the blue sections of this obstacle. And then when you touch this trapeze bar with your hands, that clears walking on water, and then you're moving into the next obstacle, which is called bar hopping, where you will use the trapeze bar. You can use this black bar. It is a loose bar sitting in those cradles. Uh, the dismount platform is right here. You can hop that bar into these blue claws to help you get to the dismount platform. Let's see a demo. is a clear for walking on water and bar hopping. Next obstacle, we have the drawbridge. So starting on this tag block right here, this is a hands-only obstacle. You can use these rings and you can use these silver handles here, only the silver, this bottom and the one up there, to dismount on this yellow block. Now it is a very poor dismount block right now, that's where the name drawbridge comes into play. If you successfully do a throwback move, it is going to trigger that yellow block to drop and then you can land on it nicely. Now I will say, the way this is set up, if you make a throwback move facing this way and you spin it around, it will work fine. We have a safety in place where if you face that way and make a throwback move, it's not gonna work it's just gonna bounce back at you, okay? So, let's see Max with the demo for how to do the drawbridge. That is a clear. It did not release until you heard that clink 
That signifies the release of the drawbridge. Moving on to the next obstacle, we have the Devil Mods. This is a hands-only obstacle. Starting on this red pad right here, your hands are allowed on this bottom devil step, and then you are allowed on this blue pill. Hands are allowed on the V, blue section, and then on the green section of the bookcase there. And then you can also use that very top devil step and the rest of these devil steps to make your way onto this blue platform for the dismount. Let's see a demo. That is a clear. Moving on to the final obstacle of the World Ninja League Flow Course Qualifier here at Ultimate Ninja Libertyville, we have In a Pinch. Now your starting platform is this green box right here. This will be hands only. You can use these rings. You can only touch the blue section of all of these grips. So there's a blue right here and right here. Only the blue is allowed on this. So there's blue section right there and right there. Now if you'll notice, half of it is a jug. The other half is just a cliffhanger. Can you get a good view of that? Mm -hmm. And then you can only use the blue and the black section of this obstacle at the very top. The green sides are off limits. You'll be called, off, called out if you use the green sides. And your dismount platform is this gray mountain right here. And then you run over, smack the buzzer, cheer like crazy, the crowd will go wild. Let's see a demo. 